everyone, Holistic Parenting Coach. My name is Brigitte. Um, today we're going to, um, I'm going to show you how to make a lemon compress platter wrap, whatever you want to call it. Um, in the many years that I've been working with children and adults and coaching, uh, I own a Montessori school since 2002. Um, people have asked me, what do you do when you have a really sore throat, um, you have a hard time swallowing, you feel like you have some, some, something stuck in your throat, what do you do? And my home remedy, which has been working greatly for me, I make this on myself a lot, on my children, on my spouse and other family members, um, is a lemon wrap. You take an organic lemon and really go, go the extra mile and get an organic lemon. Uh, you really don't need the pesticides because all of the um, enzymes, the essential oils, and, and, and such go inside as you put this uh, compress on, on your skin. So really go the extra mile and get a, get a lemon wrap. All right, so a, um, get an organic lemon, cut the lemon in half. Now we're going to place the lemon in just a regular bowl, yes? And we're going to take some hot water. Now I like, I like it the old school way of boiling water. I don't like um, boiling water in the microwave. You can read up on it online, it's just funky. I take about a, um, a quarter of a cup of hot water, hot boiling water. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut the lemon with the side down, I'm going to put the side down and cut the lemon in the hot water as as much as I can cut cut the lemon into um, slices. They don't have to be super thin, but you really want to cut it in the water so all of the um, goodness of the of the lemon can go into the water. And I'll show you why that is important in a minute. You also want to act a little bit fast so the water doesn't cool down. Uh, too quickly because you really want to put the compress the wrap on your skin as hot as you can tolerate it now if you have children just make sure that it's not too hot that you that you check it on your body I always check it here on my wrist that um, it, the children can really bear it and and as your child can talk to you they'll say hey mom dad that's hot but uh, you can do this on an infant, just make it not hot, okay? Just use common sense, will you please? Um, right. All right, so I cut my lemon. I cut it really well. I'm gonna squeeze it a little bit to squeeze all the goodness also into the boiling water here, or into the hot water, it's not boiling anymore. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take 100% cotton cloth. This is a, like a cheese cloth, you can take a, um, any kind of 100% cotton cloth. I usually take a white one because if you take a colored one, it might um, it, it, it might color off on your skin, it might dye your skin. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to drench the entire cloth with these lemon pieces and with the water and the juices and such. Now it's going to be dripping, and you really want you want you really you really want it to drip, but you want to put it as hot around your neck as you can bear it. Now it's going to drip a little bit. Yeah, I really feel it. You can take a 100% wool scarf that will take some of the moisture and leave it where it needs to go because it really needs to go, it needs to stay on your skin and, and as you rest in a minute here, which I'm going to give you instructions, um, you really want everything to just absorb through your skin and your neck. You're going to take a 100% wool scarf really make sure that you take 100% wool. And if you're really crafty, you can make one that you can use for these compresses. Um, but the wool will allow you to breathe and not sweat, but at the same time, allow all of the, uh, all of the goodness of this compress to go where it needs to go inside of your neck. All right, so as you see, I've done this many, many times to myself. So here we got a nice wrap, a nice compress. Now, like I tell you with all my other compresses, lay down, rest at least half an hour. If you fall asleep and you have really positive thoughts, even better. Uh, but do rest. Give your, give your body the rest that it needs. 
and leave it on for at least half an hour. If it gets damp and cold, take it off. But have another scarf, uh, maybe 100% cotton or 100% wool, to wrap around your neck again, or maybe a sweatshirt that you can wrap around. You really don't want to get cold around your neck. All right? So if you have any other questions, if you have any input, love to hear from you. Brigitta at hofala.com. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.